I'm Lester Holt. <laughs> on tonight's show, we are <laughs> on tonight's show we are going to visit a small town that was ravaged by America's opioid problem. What's unique about this story is how unbearable the problem came to be. We spoke with Officer Randy Williams. The problem started a few months back. We got calls from people complaining that there was a wild bear in town, so we called pest control and had the bear tranquilized and taken back to the woods. And uh, what happened next? More bears kept coming back. They weren't uh, acting normal. Uh, these bears were looking for food. Lester, they were looking for cheap thrills. <laughs> <laughs> Dateline decided to investigate this further. We learned that the bears had become addicted to the effects of tranquilizer. <laughs> yeah, I knew they were going to be trouble once I saw that it was all brown and black bear bears of color. <laughs> <laughs> they started causing trouble just so they could get tranquilized. I'm talking Grand Theft Auto, arson, armed robberies, and when that high wasn't enough for them, uh, they started looking for cocaine, heroin, anything they could, they could get their hands on. Daylon got a hold of one of these bears. We agreed to hide his identity because there are some charges against him right now that are being investigated. We will call him Smokey. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Lester. <laughs> Smokey, I know this must be hard, but please, tell us your side of the story. Well, one of my buddies told us about the tranquilizer stuff, and how it was better than any of the weed we had in the woods, so of course I had to try it. <laughs> I, I never thought it would get this far, though. It's okay, please, tell us more. Well, I came to get time to tra get tranquilized, and well, that was awesome. <laughs> But let me tell you, way better than that crap kids get at Coachella. But soon I crave something stronger. It's okay, please, tell us more. <laughs> everything, I took everything. Benzos, E, Molly, Bath Salts, Super K, Mellow Yellow, Angel Dust, Skag, Chiba, Smack, okay, Barbers, okay, Apple. Okay, okay. Right, right. We get the picture. And Smokey, tell me, how does this affect you and your family? I just became fixated on getting my next high. I got fired from my job at the U.S. Forest Service. I couldn't put honey on the table for my family. And what made you want to change? I knew I hit rock bottom when I was offering blowjobs for rocks. <laughs> it turns out no one wants to blow me from a bear. Is it the teeth? I think it's the fact that I'm an animal, Lester. <laughs> right. And when there weren't enough drugs to meet the bear demand, what happened? Well, my buddy Yogi went down to Peru to try ayahuasca, and my old co-worker Fozzie is currently detained in a Colombian prison after he got into it with some guys from the Medellin cartel. Wow, so this is uh, now a global problem. Uh, definitely. <laughs> my buddy W. Boo is dying. Poor guy looks like someone took all the stuffing out of him. <laughs> There's one bear, T. Ruxpin. Struck him rich in the 80s. He controls most of the market in Africa. That douchebag Paddington controls the UK market. And Kung Fu Panda controls most of Asia. Ribbit, just ribbit. So, how can we fight this? I'm glad you asked, Lester. When I woke up in a pool of my own vomit outside of a brothel in Nevada, I knew I had to change. L luckily, I heard about the Care Bears. <laughs> They're running clinics and therapy groups all across the country. I've been clean for seven months now. Incredible. Is there anything you want the people to know? I guess I just want the public to know that we bears are just like people. We need help too. Please donate to our treatment centers by going to carebearsforacause.org. That's Care Bears, the number four, <laughs> acause.org. Well, I'm sure every American watching this feels for you and your community, Smokey. Oh, and one more thing. To the Henderson family, I want to personally apologize for breaking into your home, turning it into a crack den, and then crashing your car straight into the garage. <laughs> Drugs make you do some crazy shit. <laughs> Well, that's it for tonight. Tune in next time when Dateline investigates the murder, murder of a little blonde girl who mysteriously disappeared actually after she broke into a bear's home. <laughs> <laughs>